Yo guys, what is up? This is Real American Studios, and I'm bringing you a brand new episode of the Pokemon Advanced Reviews. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing well today. And uh, yeah, let me go ahead and go to Prime Video, but before I get into this, make sure to hit that like button if you enjoy, because I'll know to uh, watch more of these, like to do more of these. And also, um, uh, yeah, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both are linked below. Um, check out the merch store linked below in the description because I made brand new merch. I hope you guys can buy it. And uh, join my Discord, which is linked below. Check out all the channels that are linked below. And with that being said, let's get into episode two. A, run, a ruin with a view. So yeah, we, we are on episode two. Let me just go ahead and get this up. First of many new revelations that oh wait, in oh. the... I actually have to go back to the beginning. Obviously, I'm gonna skip the theme song. Right. Shortly after his arrival to the Hoenn region, Ash met an aspiring new Pokemon trainer named May. Yep, Ash still has that der same derpy face look on his face as always. And now, together they're. All right, I don't know what May's doing, but. Uh, she's a little slouched over right now. On their way to Oldale Town, okay. where Ash will register for the Hoenn League. Pikachu, since Oldale Town is so close, you want to race the rest of the way? <laughs> well, me, I usually only run when something's chasing me. Actually, that's not true. I try to, like, get some exercise now because I'm trying to lose weight. Never tell a woman she's walking too slow. That's that's uh traveling with a woman 101. Wouldn't have offered my help. What are you talking about? Moron. I just want to get there before it gets too dark. I did have a bike. You know, I, I guess there's no harm if we slow it down just a little bit. That's right. Okay. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. No. No, 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 bad. Alright. So obviously this episode is called A Ruin with a View. Yeah, I always thought that Pokemon were supposed to stay inside their Pokeballs, right? I guess so. Well, no crap, Sherlock. But Pikachu likes it better hanging outside with me. Right, buddy? Hmm. I haven't gotten any complaints from my Torchic yet. Uh, come to think of it, I barely know anything about this Torchic. Then what you should do is look it up in that new Pokedex you just got. Oh, yeah. You know, something I, one thing I did not ever understand, why is Azuril, Azuril just a normal type, whereas Meryl and Azumarill are just water types? Like, that just never made any sense to me. Encounters, I guarantee catching Gen 1. Actually, I, I don't even know that for sure. I think it is, though. Empty Pokeball at it, didn't I? First, you have to battle the Pokemon and weaken it. Then you throw your Pokeball. Right, I know. Time for a Pokemon battle. Torchic, I choose you. <laughs> now, what are those attacks again? Torchic! 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 <laughs> okay, I've seen my dog do that before. My little chihuahua did that uh, when she was trying to chase a squirrel. She actually ran into the tree. 
Fun fact. Are you okay? Funniest thing to happen with the series so far. Uh -oh. Wait a minute! Why is Azuril using water gun? I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually use that in the games. That just goes to show the anime and games do not correlate at all. Oh, Torch is dead. Oh, come on, Torchic. You suck, Torchic. You should quit as a Pokemon trainer forever. Actually, let me turn this down a little bit. That's not the Pokemon Center. That's Stone Pokemon Stonehenge. Duh. See, it would have been pretty cool if they had actually added that into the game, the ruins of Odell, because that's actually pretty cool. Hi, my name's Ash, and my name's May. Hello. Nice to meet you both. So tell me, where are you two going in such a big hurry? We're trying to find the Pokemon Center. Ah, well, you're almost there. It's just over this hill. That's great. Torchic snapping in that Pokeball though, like you already know. That Torchic. You know what would do me some good for my stress levels? Decent internet. <laughs> He's gonna call. What'd I say? Well, obviously, actually, I didn't say anything, but I mean, you already know who that dude was calling Professor Oak. Little does he know, you know, Professor Oak could probably, he would probably interrupt with Professor Oak at dinner with his mom, but, you know, that's another story. Samuel. some kind of coincidence they're both on a call with their I guess their leaders technically like I guess Samuel Oaks technically Ash's leader but I mean obviously he's not an evil boss like Giovanni now that we've tracked him down we're ever so close to the capture because when it comes to the honor of Team Rocket there's no oh, 
theories may be coming soon. What if Giovanni's actually a mob boss and he doesn't actually care if Team Aqua and Team Magma actually like murder Jesse James Meowth and Wobbuffet? Like I just now thought about that. And this room's where the trainers sleep. Wow, not too shabby. Wow, not too shabby. Yeah. Shut up, mate. Like until you actually get good at Pokemon, you can't even talk. Meanwhile, I got a trophy. Second place in the midget heavyweight wrestling back in 2010. Second place. Almost first. Almost first. So, yeah, I was pretty decent, I guess. What is she doing? What is she up to? Oh, yeah, she really is starved. She's busy stuffing her face. Seriously, why couldn't we just have the old Dale Ruins in in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald? At least Pokemon Emerald. That would have been lit. Plus, in Nuzlocke, that would have given you an extra encounter and stuff like that. You could have done something with Revlicanth early on before you found him underwater. Or even done something with Kyogre there. Like, early on, like, you get an early... Alright, so think about this. So, like, in Pokemon, in the original Pokemon anime, Ho-Oh flies up, like, Ash sees Ho-Oh early on. Maybe in that we could see either Groudon or, Ky or Kyogre, depending on what game we're playing, or Rayquaza early on in the game. And then, like, the, you know, you kind of just catch a glimpse of them. And then you have to battle, like, and then, like, you see Team Aquas and Magma, like, Maybe like Team Magma, like if it in Pokemon Ruby, Team Magma has like the the um, equipment to like have a submarine. Like Groudon goes under the lava. Team Magma tries to follow him in like a submarine built for the lava. Or in Team or in Sapphire, obviously Team Aqua follows Kyogre underwater in the submarine. Or in the game, like. Rayquaza flies off, then you have like a Team Aqua, Team Magma battle scene and then they both end up flying after Rayquaza, like stuff like that, it could be really cool you know if it was in all three games and obviously in T in uh, Emerald, like you add stuff to it, like you've got the ruins where you have to go I guess technically that could be kind of like the ruins of Old Dale in the desert, where you get the fossil but like it'd be cooler if like if like the guy was blocking your way just be like because the ruins were like, you know what honestly I'm gonna look into making a Pokemon ROM hack of Pokemon like of all three um and that'd be a really cool feature to add in because you know you know you can change up the map a little bit that'd be cool though 
Like, you have to admit it. Like, honestly, hire me to create Pokemon games. Like, we're going to make a, another Gen 3 remake. But we're going to make a Pokemon Emerald remake. Like, Pokemon Ultra Emerald. And we're going to add the ruins in there. And it's going to be on the Switch. And you can download it on the laptop. And it'd be really cool. Honestly, let me know in the comments below if you if you want me to like make a video where I pitch some ideas to Nintendo about Pokemon games. I mean, I mean, because I I could pitch some ideas for like remakes, especially of Gen Four. I could come up with a few uh, like a few ideas for Gen Four actually. What the crap? See, like in the ruins of like uh, the ruins of Odell, like it has something to do with Relicant. So maybe instead, like you make you could have made like Relicant more important in the game than just finding it underwater. I feel like Relicant should have been there. Should have been like maybe one Relicant, and you could all you like it'd be like a like at the end of the game, like after you beat the Elite Four, maybe you go catch the Relicant. And imagine if you could randomize that, like it randomized to any fossil Pokemon. So like you go up to the Relicant that's like an Aerodactyl or Kabutops or something like that. Like that'd be really cool in Nuzlocke. Like that'd be fun for after game. Like obviously it wouldn't mean much, but maybe you just did that after game. You know, like that'd be cool. Alright, so that's Team Magma. Team Magma at, at, well, it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be Matt. Matt's the Team Aquaman, at, at him, right? See, and the confusing thing, they have Hound Dooms. Later on in the series, they have Mighty Ennis. Why not just give them Mighty Ennis early on? And, like, instead of Hound Dooms. I mean, I understand Hound Doom makes sense for Team Magma. Give them Mighty Ennis, like, push Mighty Ennis. Early on, because it's a Gen 3 mod. Hound Doom was last gen. Get it right, Pokemon. Finishing up my coffee, sorry.
they're they're morons here. Yeah. So, let me get this straight. Giovanni's trying to gain intel on Team Magma, but he doesn't un he doesn't know that Team Magma has been gaining intel on Team Rocket. Interesting. Yeah, like if you notice, like in all the in all the seasons, though, they always have like a new evil crime organization. But Team Rocket just sticks because everybody likes uh, Team Rocket because they're morons. Although later on, like about I think it was Gen Five, Gen Six, Team Rocket really became evil. Like they actually did a really good job turning them evil, but really, like they're not bad guys. Like in the first few series but the fact they turned so evil like later on is just interesting actually actually I just got a new sub so thank you for subbing uh who was that derivative Z thank you for subbing my dude I like how as soon as I go on a rant I'm getting subs now Maybe like maybe that's the key, just go on a rant. <laughs> no, I'm just playing guys. Yes. Alright, so she out. he got the key. I switched it over to reserve power. Yeah, be careful because you both suck at training. Can we be honest? Ash was never a great Pokemon trainer. Why do you think? We brought you so that you'd help us gain access to the stone chamber. It won't work. If we try to force our way into it, the chamber will collapse. But you yourself said the way in is written on this little tablet. Is that right, Professor? That's true, but I also said I need to have the four treasures as keys. Of course. The keys. See, like these guys are really bad guys. Like, I actually, I actually like what they did with Team Magma and Team Aqua. Like, they made them into like really evil guys. So, so yeah. What will it be? Uh, Clash of Clans just updated me. I, I just upgraded my goblins to level four. Red, green, blue, yellow. They're going in the chamber now. See, I'm just so obsessed with this idea of the ruins of Odell. Idea. I wish it was in the games. Except maybe it could be like a post-game thing where you like have the treasures. Like I'm really obsessed with this idea now.
Pikachu's just known for defeating Team Rocket, I mean. It was only in the first episode of the anime where Team Rocket seemed really evil. And, you know, then they turned goofy, and now they really do seem evil again in the newer ones. But it took a long time for them to get back to episode one evil. Y'all stay up all night. See, it would have been cooler if they had let they, that happen while Team Magma was still there, though, and then played off of that storyline for a while, like throughout the series. It's Rillicamp. Rillicamp, that's a big Pokemon. went in there with one Pokemon, maybe didn't even have Torchic. What did Ash honestly expect to do with one Pikachu against like six Houndooms? Because those Houndooms look pretty strong too, so Pikachu probably would have would have got destroyed. Psych. And Officer Jenny is in there so, uh, sipping co coffee and eating donuts. That's the stereotypical yeah. cop. Hey, guess what? I've been doing a lot of research over at the Stone Chamber, and so far every indication has pointed to ancient Pokemon and man interacting peaceably. Wow. You awesome. get there in about six episodes, find out that it's not actually the first gym battle, and then take another 15 episodes to get the first gym. Like, honestly, I thought, I thought, uh, Vinny and Asteroids team recaps were slow, but, um, the amount of time it takes Ash to get to the first gym is like, you know, that's way slower. What an episode. No, but in all honesty, it was a pretty good episode. But um, with that being said, thank you guys for what, you know what, let's get to the 30-minute mark. Um, yeah, guys, go check out the new merch. It's definitely awesome. Um, the merch is great, you know, super awesome. Definitely go buy some. I got a, I got a T-shirt, a, a logo T-shirt, a logo poster, a logo pillow and a logo coffee mug so do definitely go check that out as I'm going to casually go to the stop recording button in three two one stop recording